So I'm pleased to introduce uh, Duke Viet Vu, uh, who's going to talk about complex Monsh Ampere equations in finite, um, finite pluricomplex energy. Okay, so yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thanks a lot for the invitation. Yeah. So uh, let me uh, start with my, my talk. So in the first part of the first slide of my talk, I will uh, record you about the uh, motion Bay equation and uh, some of the related notion, yeah. So let, uh, let me first uh, fix a setting uh, where we work with uh, motion Bay equation. So, uh, so as, as usual, so we consider as x omega, this is a compact uh, Keller manifold of uh, dimension m. And we normalize omega as uh, with the volume form equal to one, uh, as usually. And uh, here uh, uh, we record that uh, an omega bis s function on x uh, is a function uh, which locally is a sum of uh, a smooth function and a, a proof subatomic function. And uh, that function satisfies uh, the inequalities uh, you see here in the slide in the sense of the current, okay? So now is the famous uh, complex motion pay equation you saw, you see here in the slide, uh, DDC use plus omega uh, power n equal to mu. Uh, here mu is a probability measure and, uh, and use is an uh, omega as a PSH function. So, uh, so let me record one important thing uh, because uh, the, the left hand side is not always verified for any use. So we have to, to we have to give a sense to that um, formula. So that current here, uh, for, for all the, of the talk, uh, is understood as a non prepolar uh, cell product of the current uh, DDC user plus omega. So, and uh, so that's, uh, that non prepolar -pre product was introduced uh, by the default loss in the local setting. And later the, in the global setting, uh, by Gesserides and uh, and his uh, and uh, their collaborators. Okay. So here's a uh, just to uh, just for the convenience, I I briefly recall uh, how we define that uh, number number product in uh, in a compact Kelly manifold. So firstly, for so if our function is about it, then uh, the the definition is classical, which is due to a default law. And here, here is a formula you, you see in the slide. And, uh, and because it was, it was about it, so, uh, so uh, that, uh, that current here is very well fine. And so we can take EDC and so on. Now uh, in the uh, general zone, so when our function is not, uh, it's not, it's not about it yet. Then uh, we just take the, we first we take the maximum of U with, uh, a uh, small, small constant, minus k. And then we form the, the current here with about the potential. And then uh, we take a limit when uh, k can be infinity. So, uh, so the existence of limits is not an uh, immediate fact, but it is a, it's a co direct consequence of the pretty thin topologies of um, motion pair operators. And, uh, and secondly, uh, the fact that the current is close is also uh, not uh, trivial, so we have to prove it. So this is due to uh, uh, bosom SEDs and uh, gas regularity. Okay. Now we move on. So uh, here's I give a very quick summary of the of the existence of the solution. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me start with a smooth solution. Yeah. So when uh, our uh, our measure is a volume form. So the solution is smooth and unique. This is due to Zhao. Uh, and this is, uh, and secondly, if uh, we decrease a bit uh, the, the regularities of the measures, then uh, we get a unique holder solution, holder continuous solution. Uh, if our, our measures is holder continuous, uh, if we view it as a, Function nodes on the space of um, omega PSH function. Yeah. So this results due to a number of uh, of uh, authors, 
I give here a, a list of, uh, of them. Uh, maybe it's, um, it's helpful uh, to give uh, some examples of that, uh, how the continuous uh, measures. Uh, so uh, if you consider uh, a measure with uh, LP densities, with P is in greater than one, the answer is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, how those continuous measures. Or in a, in a geometric uh, way, we can uh, take any, any volume form in a generic uh, uh, Cauchy demands and uh, submanifolds, flows, then uh, that uh, gives you a uh, whole uh, continuous uh, measures. And uh, now we, uh, if we decrease uh, uh, one more, once more the regularities of the measures, then we get a unique uh, continuous uh, solution. And here's a, I, I, I record here the, the formulation due to closure. So, uh, so if our measures is uh, dominated by the uh, capacities, then uh, we get a continuous solution. Uh, and finally, uh, when our measures is only non free polar, so that means that it has no mass on the, the true polar set, then we also get a, a solution, which is unique. But uh, the, the solution is not bounded in the general zones. Okay? And that results uh, due to again in the uh, local setting and uh, raise the PIDs and the news uh, in the in the uh, in the setting we uh, we uh, we consider in the talk. Okay, now uh, we go to a bit more to about um, about uh, with uh, non non pre polar measures. So we need uh, some more no notion, yeah. Uh, the notion we need is uh, the Fuji complex energy, uh, which was introduced by Sergei in local setting and uh, by by gas DID and most uh, SEDs in the global setting. Okay, so uh, to to be able to do uh, to define that uh, notion, we need uh, some uh, some observation yeah, uh, about the uh, monotonicities of the non durable product. Uh, in case of Kalia setting, it's, a, it's a quite simple, yeah. I, I will show you now, as you see in the slide. So if you can consider um, that integrals, that means we compute the mass of that, uh, of that uh, motion pass measure. Then uh, by definition, you see that uh, the mass is uh, as most one. Uh, so, uh, so, that, so you see that, uh, uh, that uh, that's a non polar product uh, lose masses in the general zone. And uh, we, uh, that's motivated us to define that uh, set of uh, uh, big E you see here, in a set of uh, all of the omega pH function, uh, which is uh, negative and uh, satisfy the, the equality here. Okay, that means the mass of the motion pairs uh, measures of U equal to one. The maximum value, and now we consider the, uh, the notion of weight. So we we denote by W minus here the set of uh, convex increasing function T from the set of uh, negative uh, real numbers to uh, to uh, to itself, such so as uh, the key zero equal to zero itself, and uh, and the key minus infinity equal to minus infinity. And uh, and the next one, the next set of the uh, of weight is the uh, is the following. We fix a a, a big constant m positive, and uh, we denote by w plus m the set of concave increasing functions. So that uh, we also we also have that uh, equality uh, at uh, zero and uh, infinity, many infinity. And, uh, and that, uh, that way to satisfy this inequality you, you see in the slide. So in general, we, we call the a weight is an element of that, uh, that two set we thus introduce. And this is due to uh, you guess the PID uh, and, um, <clears throat> and it's, a, it's a local setting that so can consider so only some, some uh, some special uh, weight, 
uh, as you uh, saw in the examples in the slide, they are, they are, they are the most basic examples and also the, the, the important ones. If you consider the, the just, uh, just these examples, uh, the exponential, I'm uh, sorry, the, the minus t power, t power p, with p here, if p uh, between uh, 0 and 1, you get uh, a weight in, uh, in uh, w minus, and uh, if p get, uh, greater than 1, you get uh, a weight in, uh, in uh, minus plus uh, m. This is, this is a type of one, sorry. See w plus uh, m. <coughs> OK. Just about to say one thing. So yeah, my, my understanding is that these two weight classes go back even uh, uh, earlier. So these two weight classes, I think, originate from uh, Orlitz space theory. So in Orlitz spaces, uh, people work a lot with these two classes of weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah and I yeah, think I'm that's quite... how they came into sort of the complex world as well. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, they, they consider this weight in the, in the Oryx uh, spaces in the, in the real analysis, yeah. And uh, in the, in the pretty potential theories com com uh, communities, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, so again, and the uh, guess that is, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. people introduce uh, this weight, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we move on to, now we can talk, we can speak of uh, finite energy. Uh, because the key uh, is a weight uh, as we saw in the last line. And we did those by, by big E key, the set of use in the, in the big E here uh, with uh, finite energy, finite key energy. So here the key energy defined by this formula. So you see that because the use is negative and, uh, and the key is negative. So, uh, so this uh, here give you a, a positive numbers. And we ask that the numbers is finite. This is what we ask. And here is an observation uh, uh, due to gas and uh, They observe that uh, the set of uh, the big E here can be exalted by, by the, 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 the sequence of the, of finite energy, and as uh, it follows uh, the uh, the terminolo terminology, we call uh, a big E key is a low lower energy, and uh, for for key in uh, W minus, and uh, and higher energy if a key in uh, W plus and big M. So here it is uh, some uh, some remark. Uh, uh, to, to see why uh, these, uh, these uh, spaces are important in uh, practice. Uh, so the, the high energy spaces are important if you want to study small papers and uh, where the, the measures uh, certifies a, a good uh, regularities. For example, so it has uh, LP densities with uh, P uh, greater than one. And on the other hand, so the low energy spaces uh, is also the important uh, if we want to work with a uh, mu, uh, uh, which is only the number problem. So in, so in that sense, it's a, it satisfies a minimal uh, uh, regularity uh, assumption. Yeah. So uh, that's a notion of, uh, so in that setting, uh, the notion of energy uh, gives you a, a, a quantitative way to measure the, the, the fact that our measures is only the number of people. And, uh, and also the, this, uh, the last remark is about that, it's about the, uh, the, the practical uh, application. Even if we only uh, work on the weight, uh, with a specific weight, uh, like uh, the, the T power P here, in practice, we also need to uh, approximate uh, this uh, weight uh, by some uh, smooth weight. And of course, uh, this smooth weight uh, has no, uh, no, no, speci no specific form. Yeah. So, so that's, uh, that's, that's some of the reasons why we should uh, 
we should be interested in working with a uh, general weight rather than some uh, specific class of, uh, of weight. Okay, now we move on with the question that motivate our the main result in the talk. Oh, sorry, okay. So here's uh, the problems uh, uh, we saw, uh, we see here in the slide. Uh, so it can be uh, formulated as follow. We have a two, two uh, omega PSS function, U and B, and, uh, and the motion pair of U is dominated by the motion pair of B. And we ask uh, something quite general question. So if uh, V satisfies some, some uh, liberal, liberality properties, P, uh, the same, and we ask whether R person U is right the same uh, properties. And here's a list of, uh, of course, we have to to, uh, to specify piece in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in practice. Uh. So here's is a, is a list of uh, p uh, we we work with. Uh. So if uh, our property p is that uh, v is holder or continuous or bounded, then the question is 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 asked by Blogier. and uh, we can also ask for 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 example p is that the uh, V of a finite key energy, then in that case, whether our person use uh, satisfy the same properties. And, uh, and uh, if you go a bit uh, far away, then uh, uh, with uh, the current of a uh, higher body degrees, and we have a similar uh, uh, fact uh, about the uh, super potential, but uh, yeah, I just uh, want to note it here. And here's uh, some. Uh, some factor. So this uh, problem is quite is widely open uh, for for continuity uh, and bubbleness uh, liberalities. There are some work uh, due to Colosiers and his collaborators, but uh, but uh, I think the question is is, is still uh, still widely open. Yeah, and uh, but uh, up to now. Uh, uh, we we have no the answers for 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 holder liberality and uh, for finite uh, key energy. So um, the holder liberality was known uh, quite some time ago, uh, a few years ago. So and with a list of uh, people here, and uh, and for the finite energies uh, was a, a recent result, uh, which we, we will speak of in the talk. And, uh, and now we will talk, about, talk more about uh, that uh, finite energy. Okay. So here's uh, the result uh, I, I, I did with uh, Do. Uh, we give a, a complete uh, characterization of uh, measures with a finite key energy. So, so because um, as before, mu is, uh, is a probability measures on icing and key is, is weight. And uh, here's what we, we obtain. Then mu is a motion pairs measure with a, with a potential in the in 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 finite energy classes. If, if and then only if uh, our measure satisfies that inequality. So you don't have to read the, the, the whole in the inequalities, uh, but uh, the main point is that uh, that, uh, that condition is a, is a, is a kind of um, uh, uh, integrability is a condition. So this is, uh, this is useful in practice. Yeah. And, uh, and here's some, uh, some remark. Uh, that result was known uh, for so that's a special weight, uh, uh, t by power p. This is due to uh, to Sergan and Gezeviadi. And uh, the proof is used in an essential way, the, the special form of the weight. And this cannot extend to uh, our setting. And uh, there was uh, some, there was, there was a work uh, due to Bernard uh, Cochi uh, in the local setting for convex weight, which is uh, similar to our result. 
but uh, somehow, uh, at least uh, as I see, uh, the proof that he was, uh, he was uh, in a crucial way, the fact that uh, it's, it's a local setting. So, so I don't see a clear way to extend the work to the global setting. And moreover, uh, in the work of uh, Gates of Gates, uh, they pose uh, the question, uh, they, they pose uh, a question uh, which he, uh, somehow uh, um, uh, to, um, to give a, a, a characterization of a measure with finite energy. They formulated their question in a more concrete way, but uh, but I believe uh, what I wanted is to uh, to to as I uh, interpreted. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I will talk about uh, the some co some consequences of that uh, result, and uh, and how to uh, prove it. Uh, uh, and uh, later in the talk, I will uh, show you how to extend that result to the bigger community class setting. Okay. So here is the first uh, consequences, a direct one. So this is what we uh, we spoke of uh, in, the, in, the, in the last two slides about the ecology literature. So if uh, our measure mu is, uh, is dominated by, uh, by by some motion pair of some function in a uh, finite energy classes, and then uh, mu is also a motion pairs of some uh, function in the safe classes. So, so this is what I mentioned is is a is a is a is a, is a last slide, and uh, and now I, I want to mention the the key in uh, the key uh, ingredient in our proof. So this is something about uh, mesh energy to estimate the same as you see it here. Uh, if I have a uh, fine in the finite energy class system with, uh, with, with this uh, normalization, yeah. Then uh, there exists a constant C such as for any P psi in, a, in a, that, uh, that big I peak uh, classes, then we have this inequality. So, uh, so, so again, uh, that's, uh, that's mixed energy estimation was known for for that, uh, for that special uh, weight. But again, uh, the proof uh, uh, use, uh, use that uh, special form of the weight. So, um, so here's, uh, here our result uh, hold for any, any weight without any resistance here. Can I have a quick, quick question here? Yeah. So did you spend some time to understand if this exponent here is optimal? I I guess uh, I guess uh, I guess so. I I'm not, I, I have never talked of the the optimality, okay. but uh, but the expo is the, the exponent here comes quite natural reason in the proof. I think I mean, there are those artificial uh, manip manipulation there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So now as uh, I will show you the. Just very briefly, how to, how we obtain the, the main result, the, the, the factorization, and uh, and how we uh, some comment about that uh, the proof of that mixed energy estimates only some comment. Uh, yeah. uh, so the first thing I want to uh, to tell you is that uh, in the is that a factorization of uh, uh, the, that we obtain. So it's, a, it's essentially we solve a motion pair equation. So, uh, so it's a proof we just follow the, the, the standard strategy. And the main difficulty is to control the key energies of the, of the approximate of the solutions. And this is the, 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 the point where we need that uh, mixed energy is estimate. And uh, and now, so, so how, how do we uh, prove that uh, mixed energy estimate? Uh, so uh, the argument is actually quite simple. Yeah? Uh, it's based on uh, some kind of um, 
monotonicity's argument and, uh, and proof in the uh, properties of the motion pair operators. Although the proof is quite simple, but uh, I like to mention that uh, we can use the same idea to prove the complexities of that uh, finite energy classes. And uh, that complexity uh, has, uh, has some history. Uh, it was conjectured so, by, by both some SEDs and yes, a long time ago, so in 2010, and later was uh, solved by DAFAS. Uh, by using the, uh, his uh, work on the on the envelopes of uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, prescribed similarities, and uh, and here we can use uh, we can use that same idea. We can use the ideas uh, uh, of that mixed energy estimate to prove uh, to give another proof of that uh, of that uh, complexity complexity. And also the our, our proof also work in a in a more general setting with a relative and non free product. Uh, okay. Uh, so here's I just give uh, one line or uh, how we uh, we um, obtain that the mixed energy estimate. Uh, the the first thing is that we decompose uh, the integrals in the two part. Uh, uh, as you see here, the first part with a P psi bigger than the phi, and the second part with P psi less than phi. And for, for each part, we, 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 we use, uh, we use um, monotonicities of uh, energy to, to, to control. And, uh, and the point is that we, we make a, a, a good choice of the constant C here to, uh, to obtain the the, the estimate. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now this is all I want to talk about the Kelly setting. Now I will, I will move on with the bigger cohomology classes. Yeah. So here's a. Uh, so I I, I will uh, review uh, the the standard setting with the bigger cohomology classes. So we consider the theta. Is a smooth closed or one form in a big class and phi, okay. And phi is a is a model to theta phase expansion, so that means the, the, uh, the motion pair of phi is positive, and phi equal to uh, to is the rooftop envelopes defined by by these formulas. So so that notion of models is is, is was, was introduced by by that pass in a Zion Lu, and also the, there was some uh, work by Ross and Wilson Nisum uh, about that uh, envelope. Yeah. And here's a, here's a formulation of motion pair equation in our setting. Uh, we consider that equation here, the, the same one, but uh, with U uh, less than phi. So we control the signality of U by, by that of phi. And, uh, and our measure mu with the mass in, uh, equal to uh, the motion pair of phi. So, so uh, here's some list of, uh, of work uh, uh, about that uh, equation. When, uh, when phi, the, the, the model, uh, the, the pH expansion of a minimal signality in alpha, then that, that, equation, that equation was also in the papers of uh, both some SEDs and guess the idea. And moreover, when the for, for five generals, uh, it was sold by, by that pass and his, his collaborators that uh, the condition is quite natural and also somehow uh, necessary. And uh, here's uh, what we know uh, so far, uh, this equation, uh, has a unique solution in the class uh, uh, big, is, big E here. And, uh, and if uh, the, the function, uh, sorry, the measure mu has a LP density, then the solution of the same signal ties as phi. So here's a due to the work of Davas in as I knew. So now, uh, uh, if we think of the, the Kelly setting, we have the, 
the, the, the characterization for measure of finite energy. And now with the equation, with the, with, with the motion equation, with the prescribed signal D5, you can pose a similar question. And, uh, and actually we have the same, the, the same kind of the result. I will show you that. So here, yeah, firstly, we, we have the, the similar notion for energy defined by that formula. So again, U is less than five. So this, 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 this guy is, a, is negative. So with the minus uh, uh, here, so that this gives you a positive number. Right? So we have a similar, a quite similar uh, statement for, 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 for bigger classes setting. Uh, I, I don't go through the, the statement here, but you can see in the slide. And uh, now I just want to give a comment. Uh, um, if, you, if you try to prove that result, uh, then everything uh, goes in the, in the same way as in the Keller setting. Uh, so as long as we have the, we have a good enough uh, integration by part. This is the key point uh, we have to keep in mind. Uh, I will talk about that uh, integration by part uh, now. So here's uh, so the statement uh, that we need in the proof. So it's a bit technical, but, uh, but I will try to go through it. Uh, so, uh, so we have a current uh, of by degree one, one, uh, sorry, by degree m minus one, m minus one, and having no mass on a three polar set. And uh, V and W, they are, they are differences of, uh, of uh, quasi basis functions. Okay, we, we have V1 and V2, W1, W2, they are quasi basis functions. And we assume that V and W are bounded in, uh, in our manifold I think. And T is a, is a smooth function. Uh, and then we have that, uh, that uh, integration by path formula. So it's look uh, complicated, but uh, it's actually uh, just like a uh, uh, smooth function here. Yeah? So here, here I, I, will, I will go slowly uh, with the location here. Yeah? Uh, so here, uh, if, if V and uh, W, uh, they are smooth, we can just ignore the, the bracket here and the, the, the dot here, the, the wedge dot. Uh, and uh, is that a, is, is that a smooth setting? Yeah? We have everything like normal. We have integration by part. Uh, and uh, so when our V and W uh, uh, as in the statement, uh, it's a hypothesis. Then we have to that there's something we have to uh, notice. Uh, uh, the first thing is that we have to, uh, the dot question. So here we can ignore that uh, that dot. Uh, we can define that uh, product in a similar way as a non-free product. So, so if you don't know the, about that product, we just ignore this notation here. So I think of it as a non-free product. And the important thing in that formula is, a, is a, in this term, the last term is a formula, is a, the term uh, about uh, EW, where's uh, DCV and where's T. So these terms it was not known before. So, so that means that to prove that formulas, firstly, we have to define that a third term. And, and once we, we, we can define it, we have we prove that we have the equality. So, so this consists of two steps here. And uh, now here's some, uh, some remark. Uh, the first thing is that the, the, the assumption that the V and W's about it is uh, somehow so optimal, yeah? uh, because uh, because when uh, when they are not about it, uh, I don't think we can make sense uh, this formula, uh, the 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 DV versus DCV. Yeah? Uh, the, uh, to see a, to see a, an example, we can think of uh, when V equal to log Z. With these in C, in the complex plane, then in that case, uh, the, the, the D log Z and where the DC log Z is, is not uh, of um, bounded mass in the complex plane. 
it uh, on the capacity of of, uh, of complex planes. Okay, this is the first thing. And second thing is that uh, uh, these uh, these formulas were known uh, long ago under the condition that uh, the function uh, v1, v2, and w1, w2 uh, have a small unbounded locus. Uh, uh, so that's mean uh, they are they are locally bounded outside some closer complete two uh, D polar set. So this is due to uh, both some SEDs and gas So uh, uh, so uh, so I I just want to remark that the proof and and the proof of this uh, general results are different here uh, and. Uh, before the, the the appearance of this uh, this formula of these formulas, uh, um, many some yeah, not many but some worker uh, is a uh, is a complex most most of the equation uh, had to assume that uh, the function the function phi the model model function uh, should have um, uh, some more unbounded locus uh, because they 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 need uh, that uh, integration by part formulas. Uh, uh, proof in the paper of, of Bosom and uh, and collaborators, but uh, with uh, with that uh, that new and uh, and uh, more general form, uh, uh, formula here, we can uh, just uh, get it off that uh, assumption. Yeah, and uh, also there are some uh, version, uh, some weaker versions due to uh, Lou and uh, Sia, uh, but uh, they don't have the there are some uh, there are some points, but uh, the, the most important one, the most important thing is that they don't have the, the terms uh, about uh, about EW versus EV, 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 ECV here, and uh, and this term is a uh, is a crucial in in a, in, a, in many applications. Uh, for example, uh, uh, if you want to um, if if you want to um, to run the 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 variation of the method uh, for um, for complex multiple equation with uh, prescribed uh, similarities, then you need that uh, that uh, that that complete uh, uh, formulation, yeah. and uh, and with without that uh, that uh, third terms, uh, then uh, it, it will not work. Yeah. So uh, so here's a here's a thing, uh, as I mentioned uh, in the last slide. Uh, as long as we have a good enough uh, integration by part, then everything goes through without uh, any difficulties, as is a case. So, uh, so this is uh, this uh, this is what I I, I meant with that formula, and uh, and this is the uh, the the proof in the in the big class uh, setting. I I think I stop here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, questions? Questions for Viet? I had uh, one uh, question or comment, maybe to. Okay, yeah. It's, uh, just, um, so, without understanding much of the sort of technical parts of the proof, uh, when I look at the, the statement of your main theorem, uh, yes. that that kind of looks like a properness condition to me. Um, may I go back to that statement? Yeah, yeah, please. That's here? Yeah. So, um, yeah, what this one thing this statement tells us is that if, uh, well, if the energy is low, then the, um, well, this integral on the left hand side is low. So some kind of uh, L1, L1 properness, but with a, with a, with a chi involved. Uh, I'm not so, quite familiar with the, the properness you mentioned, yeah. So, that, so what, what, what I want to, or I guess what you want with properness is to say that the sub-level sets of your functional, the energy in this, in this sense, are, have some kind of compactness properties. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I guess this doesn't say that, but it's still, um, 
if, if we assume that the energy is low and, and let's say we want to minimize the energy uh, yeah. and then we assume the energy is low um, yeah. then this statement gives us uh, like a property for, for psi some kind of uh, boundedness on psi i suspect it's the other way around here exactly so it's somehow not uh... So for for me the for me the uh, the, the is a is it, this inequality is, is about when the energy is big. Oh, okay. So, so, so maybe I so, got the sign. So here's uh, the the exponent lambda here. It's important that it's crucial that lambda is less than one. Okay. So here the lambda equal one 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 half if the key is uh, convex and uh, and m over over m plus one. So it's always less than one. So it's the key, the key part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that just means that when the, the energy of P psi very big, then the left hand side cannot go to uh, at the if we if we rate as a as energy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It, it goes slowly. Yeah. Mm, right. So, so here you don't bound the energy from below, but from above, which uh, yeah, it's somehow not quite. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, for, for, from the proof, uh, that's, what, that's what we need here. Yeah. Now, perhaps mm -hmm. another question here. So, so you mentioned this question of Gage Zeriahi on the bottom of the slide. Now, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly here, for Gage Zeriahi, they specifically conjecture that you can take lambda to be equal to one, right? No, no. I think that they, 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 they don't uh, specific, specifically conjecture that inequality. That inequality here. Yeah. So, so they just ask for that the left hand side is always finite. I don't, don't remember. They, uh, they only ask whether we can, uh, we can have the, we can bound that in that uh, left hand side by some function. I see. So and which, uh, which uh, grows. Uh, Less than the less than the, the energy of p psi. Yeah, somehow so here. I see. I see. Uh, so it's even weaker than what I just said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. I guess I I I read them correctly. Yeah. I just like one small question. Yeah. So in in the statement of the theorem, we have uh, that supremum of psi is bound is equal, always equal to minus one, and and this seems to suggest that uh, for such functions u, wait. Right, so we can always uh, right. So for such u, we would have that its uh, energy, e chi energy, will always be bounded between some some between some region. Like, uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this is kind of yeah. Uh, when we uh, we normalize the p psi and, uh, and, as as we do here with the super yeah. moves equal minus one, this is not right. uh, an essential. Uh, and the, and the chance of fight. Uh, we only need it for technical purpose, yeah. So mm. that's mean the, when we consider the psi, uh, which is less than one, minus one, then the energy is, is always about from below by one. Oh. Yeah. I see. Uh, so, so that's, that's, a, that's a, we just search for one to, uh, the, Forget about the, the the small energy and on we work with the big energy here. Right. The energy will also be bounded from above, right? Uh, sorry again. The energy will also be bounded from above if the supremum of psi is equal to minus one, like from from this equation from. No, no. The energy can, can uh, the, the energy can, can be as big as big as we want to. So I, I will show you again. So we will get the formula from 
formula. So here's uh, the, the energy. Right. So if, uh, if our use is uh, less than minus one, right. then if the energy is about from below yeah. by something yeah. bigger than zero. Right. But it can be the very bigger. Right. Yeah. right. But the supremum of U is minus one, then the energy is finite, that's bounded, that's what I trying to. But it's but from below. Always but from below. Okay. By, by some constant, yeah. Fixed constant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any, any more questions? Let's uh, thank the speaker then. Okay, okay. Thanks, thank you again. Thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.